Welcome to M105 of the Mod Manager tutorial series. Today I will be showing you how to generate a GUI mod compatibility pack with Mod Manager so that mods like SP controller support or interface scaling mod will work with other mods. In the past, you might have found that these mods don't work with other mods simply because of the amount of files they change and the other mods developer not knowing how to develop a compatibility pack. As of Mod Manager 4.2.3, I've built support for building one of these compatibility packs into Mod Manager and you as an end user can generate one of them yourself. But before we start, what you need to do is you need to install all of these conflicting mods as well as the conflicting GUI mods such as Interface Scaling Mod or SP Controller Support. For both of these mods, you will need the latest version as they need to have their mount priorities raised so Mod Manager will think they are superseding other mods. Otherwise, Mod Manager will not be able to tell that they are GUI mods that are superseding others. So once you have that done, we can take a look inside of the Custom DLC Manager here we can see we have back off, map mod, and then controller support mod. You might have others and stuff like that, but in this instance, these are the only ones I'm going to be testing with. As you can see, my mount priority of controller support is higher than both of these, so the files from this DLC will supersede ones from those if they conflict. So next up, we want to open up the mod management custom DLC conflict detector, and we're going to want to widen this a little bit because these file names are a little bit long. So we'll that move you over here so in the left column we have a list of files that appear in more than one custom DLC and because of this the game is gonna the way Mass Effect 3 loads files is that it can only load one instance of every file so if this file is multiple times in every DLC it needs to figure out what file am I going to use and so those mount priorities we just listed will choose what file uses the highest mount priority for every mount or for every conflicting file will be chosen so in this case, since DLC Con Xbox conflicts with map mod here, and X DLC Con Xbox has a higher map priority, this file will be chosen. So this file will be used, and any changes that were in Expanded Galaxy Mods version won't be present. But the thing is, is the GUI mods, in all of the files, the only in custom DLC files, that is, the only thing that changes is that some exports are changed so that new interface files are inserted, and everything else is the same. So we can take those and stuff them into the next highest priority, in this case, like map mod, back off, in case both of them right here, like this, are superseding. The rightmost one is the highest priority, and the left one is the leastmost priority. And we will stuff interfaces from this mod into these mods. And we will generate a new mod that will make a compatibility pack. Now, in order to do this, you must have DLC Con Xbox install. DLC con UI scaling or DLC con UI scaling shared. Otherwise, Mod Manager won't even show this button and you won't even have an option to do this. So, what you want to do is you want to click here and it'll tell you this will create a compatibility pack. It will be generated only against what's currently installed. So, if you update any of the other mods, you need to regenerate this. Or, essentially, you will be using old versions of those mods' files and it's probably going to break something. So, yes. And we need to give it a name. It's got to be short so it fits in Mod Manager and it's going to generate, it's going to automatically generate a mod for us based on this name. So I'm going to do, we'll just call it Back Off uh, Map Mod SP GUI Compat. So at first, at first time you use this, it's going to download a library off of ME3 Tweak. So the first time you do this, it may take a few seconds while it extracts and downloads should not take too long and then once it starts it will start extracting resources out of mod manager and generate a starter kit and then it will place the new files into this starter kit so it's going to transplant files from the downloaded library and it will inject them into the conflicting files and it will place them into the new DLC mod that was just created so we will look at BOMMSP GUI Compat. So you have DLC Con BOMMSP GUI Compat. Just like that. And all you gotta do is hit apply. It's installed. And now what you will have is you have a new entry here. Essentially what's gonna happen is it's gonna anything that isn't in this mod will be used from here. Anything that's not in this mod will be used from here. Anything that's not in this mod will be used from here. And since this mod takes files from these two mods, 
Essentially, you're leapfrogging the files in here and using these ones, but with the right interfaces installed. And that should allow you to use the interface scaling mods with other mods. Now, I need to be clear about this. This will not fix compatibility issues between other mods. This is strictly GUI mods and other mods, not other mods and other mods. There is no way Mod Manager will ever be able to do that, and there's no way in a technical sense that that's actually going to be possible. Just to reiterate, this only is GUI to other mods, not other mods to other mods.